Hi, welcome to Daddy Curb's Garden. On this episode, I really want to share with you my successes and failures on plant propagation. Often in the comments, uh, I get the question, did this work? Well, I try to reply to the comments and, and I at one point attempted to do a video about some of the, the uh, successes and failures. But in this episode, I want to definitively answer what did and what didn't work. Now if I miss something, I guess it's not definitive, so you can let me know if I missed something. But I took notes and uh, we're going to try to answer these questions. So the whole point of the video is plant propagation, my experiments, to answer the question, did it work? So a while back, uh, a fairly popular video of mine is where in the apple orchard, or in the orchard, I took the uh, the sprouts from the base of an apple tree and I cut them off and I was going to propagate them by cutting and uh, I get a question a lot about whether that one worked. So the first question, the first one that I get to answer is, did the apple trees work? No. Neither one of those trees, there were two, neither one of those worked. Uh, but you'll see throughout this video that the method that I used worked for other plants but those two apple trees did not work so take a look at uh, the video I'm looking at my notes starting fruit trees with cuttings my garden experiment look at that video and I'll put it up here and uh, you can see what I did and know that that particular instance did not work but that method has worked for other things so uh, the next video that I want to highlight is how to propagate fig trees. Well, that one has, that's one of my more successful blog posts. It's all over Pinterest. Lots of people love my uh, pen about how to propagate fig trees. And I'm sad to say, I'm sorry for all of you Pinterest enthusiasts, that that particular experiment also did not work. Don't get discouraged. I have lots to show and some things did work, but the fig trees didn't. And I want to try to explain a little bit in that video, and I want you to go watch it because I, I stepped through and I think that that one really should have worked. But the reason it didn't, the reason I think it did not work is that in the bucket, I have holes drilled in the side of the bucket. And in the video, I show you that I cover the holes with an old piece of towel. I think that was my mistake because when I took the sand material out of that container after I realized that those fig trees were not going to work. It was really moist and it was anaerobic. You can tell because it smells real bad. So I think what happened was by plugging those holes with the towel, I created an environment where everything was just going to rot. So those fig trees did not work and I think it was because of that one fault. Fig trees generally, at least by all of everything I've read and other people I've talked to, Generally, fig trees are easy to propagate by cuttings. Mine didn't work. So, uh, the next video that I'm going to highlight is free trees propagating pomegranate. Did it work? Yes, but a low percentage. I planted like 20 plants. That's the one where I, I took the cuttings from the nursery, brought them home, cut them into pieces, and I planted them... Here's a couple of them right here. Actually, the, the only two that survived. But they are doing really well. These are my two pomegranates out of about 20 plants. So I got about 10% success out of that. And to me, that's a success. So if you're planting uh, pomegranates or really any cuttings, I would say plant way more than you need and expect some loss. If you get 100%, awesome you get a bunch of plants if you get 10 percent for me out of 20 i got two plants these two plants i believe are going to grow up and be uh, very healthy productive pomegranate uh, pomegranate trees so i'm very happy with having that success and uh, the the fourth video that i want to highlight is how I got six free blackberry plants. Well, that was the video where I, I showed the success right away of uh, cutting 
so here they are. I already planted a, com a couple of them. I got six plants, successful plants. This right here, like if this were on the mother plant, this tip, I would cut all the leaves off the top and I would bury that tip in the ground. And then after about six or eight weeks, I would be able to cut it off and I have a whole new blackberry plant. That one was 100% success. And I expect lots of other fruit trees or other blackberry plants using that method. Now, in another video where I, I was talking about uh, a garden update, propagating update, I'll put a, a clip of it here. Um, I mentioned that I took some cuttings from the blackberry plant and there were two of those. And that was the same method that I had done on some of these other plants where I just cut it off, stuck it in the soil, and I expected them to grow. Some things work, some things don't. The blackberries did not. But when you plant the tips, it works very well. Some additional thoughts, some additional notes that weren't um, videos. I didn't make videos about them, but I wanted to go ahead and show you is that I took some cuttings from my my daughter in her yard. She has these beautiful Esperanza flowers. It's a yellow flower, it's a big shrub. Um, and I did it the same way. Now on this one, rather than just cutting it off and sticking it into the soil, I cut it off and I took a serrated knife and I ran down the sides of the, the cutting to kind of rough up the, the bark a little bit. And I buried that. My thought was, that would give more surface area, more exposed cambium layer that's going to create more roots and give it a better chance of rooting. I don't know if that was really what did it or not, but out of, I think, four cuttings, I got two healthy plants. So those are gonna be beautiful, large shrubs with lots of yellow flowers. The bees and the hummingbirds love them. Um, let's see. Mulberry. I have mulberry trees that I, I purchased and I wanted more of them. So I took cuttings and I did this just like I did the apple trees. Cut them off, stick them in the soil, and hope for the best. And so far I've lost only a couple of those. Here, here's seven right here. And uh, I think I've only lost two, so out of about nine plants, well, that's not true because I planted some already in the yard. So I have probably 11 successful mulberry cuttings. So that was a very successful uh, experiment using the same method as I did with the apples. What I'm finding is some things are easier, some things are not as easy. Mulberry, most people would agree, uh, grows like weeds. So if you want propagation confidence, start with mulberry or willow. Willow is another one of those that propagates very easily from cuttings. I got a mall, um, let's see, this is a willow. I got a willow tree from, uh, it was a discount willow tree. It was on, on sale because it, was, um, it wasn't looking too good at one of the big box stores. And uh, brought it home and planted it. The actual tree did not live, but the cuttings that I took off of it before I planted it did live. So I have, I don't know, probably about 10 willow trees at varying sizes from about four feet tall to about this size. And uh, so the method of cutting and just sticking in the soil does work for certain plants better than others. So willow is a very good one. Pretty much that is all of my experience. <laughs> You didn't get to see that, but my cats are attacking each other in the background. They're just playing. But don't hesitate to experiment with propagation. Do it. Take some cutting. You're going to prune the trees anyway, so take those prunings. Uh, generally speaking, you want the prunings to be a one-year-old, uh, about the thickness of a pencil, and cut them off and stick them in some soil and see what happens. Uh, that's it. I needed to answer the question all in one place, did it work? And the answer is yes and no. The method is good, but not everything works, and not everything works at a really high percentage. So thank you so much for joining me here in the Daddy Kurtz Garden.
keep propagating and keep gardening, and I'll talk to you soon.